Hello, if you're having issues with voice meter popping, cracking, stuttering, all that kind of crap, and it's coming through your speakers, not necessarily with your microphone, and you've tried every freaking fix that you can find to, you know, change the buffer, change some of the devices, um, or that stuff with the with the processor affinity and uh, process priority, and still nothing is working for you, go to your motherboard's manufacturer page, support page, go to the support page for your motherboard and look for the audio driver update. In my case, it was Realtek and it's an Asus driver. They have a handy little support page on the motherboard page there and uh, look for the driver, update the driver, then see if that fixes a problem. Also, if you can, you might as well see if VoiceMeter has a new update and install that as well that fixed it for me. My issue was um, exactly that. Like, I, I I don't know what even happened. I one day just woke my PC from sleep, and all of a sudden I had so many issues. It was just permanently freaking stuck with this, I call it crunchy audio. It was disgusting. It was unbearable. And nothing I tried fixed it. I resorted to uninstalling it and uh, uh, reinstalling it, and apparently there was an update for it, and that actually fixed it for a little while. I mean, I did a bunch of other crap as well, but that, that was my last resort. I spent two hours trying to update the rest of my computer and everything, um, see if there's any Windows updates or anything. The, the weird thing is that nothing had changed. All I did was wake my PC from sleep, and suddenly the audio was trash. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, no clue, there's no explanation for it, except for one that I'll give later on, I guess. Um, it's the only explanation I can think of, and it's probably, most likely not the reason. <coughs> but anyway, um, after I reinstalled voice meter, um, it was perfectly fine for a little while. Uh, I did not restart my computer right away like it said to because everything was working fine. Um, but then I think after the next time that I did restart my computer, um, because of an issue with uh, another program, Vegas Pro, not working and having stupid problems, um, I, it was crunchy. Again, not quite as bad as the last time, but it was doing kind of the same thing. So it was still pretty terrible. Um, and again, nothing would fix it. Absolutely nothing fixed it. I ended up, I spent another three hours, oh my god, <laughs> trying to uh, re in, completely reinstall that as well as everything. I've tried fixing fixing it through the, through the buffering changes and ensuring the devices are correct and all that stuff. I ended up using Revo Uninstaller to completely remove even registry entries from voice meter and everything VB Audio related and then reinstalled it all, and still nothing. Nothing freaking fixed it. Um, what, what what I did do the last time, oh, right, I should mention that. The, the first time it happened, um, I did download the new audio driver from the motherboard uh, page, and I thought that I had installed it. Well, this time, uh, after using Revo Uninstaller to go through all that, uh, I was complaining, I tried to re reinstall um, voice meter after that, and it was complaining that <coughs> the uh, th program was still installed, and it was telling me to go through the device manager to remove anything that was already in there. So I went looking through the device manager, I deleted everything, un uninstalled everything in there that was uh, voice meter related, and I noticed in there that the Realtek driver was still on an old version. It was still a version from last year or from 2022, when the most recent version for it was in February this year, February 19th. So I thought that was really strange. I went back to the friggin' thing and I installed it again. Last time, last time, I opened the file and I ran setup.exe and it did like a quick flash and then that was it. And I'm like, okay, I guess it installed. Maybe it's super quick. It's an audio driver, you know, nothing super crazy, so maybe it's perfectly fine. No, you can't do that. You have to use the Asus setup.exe. Freaking Asus. 
So anyway, I did that this time, and then it did a whole thing and came up saying installing audio driver and took a while and blah blah blah, and then restarted the computer after that. Now it's perfectly fine. And even after putting it to sleep, restarting it, all that stuff, like it's it's still fine. No issue so far since doing that. Um, so yeah, give that a go if, if you haven't already. And I guess that's it. Oh right, my reason for the, the my potential reason for for why it did that. What is the rainbow lines going up and down the screen? Strange. Oh, it's probably because of the LED light strip that I'm using for my lights. There. Anyway, um, so the the only reason that I could logically think of, okay, not logically, because it's probably not logical, but the only thing that makes any sense to me, because nothing has changed, like I said, right? Absolutely nothing has changed. There's been no updates to anything. It, I just woke the computer from sleep, and suddenly it was broken. And yeah, so the only explanation explanation I can think of is that something talks to the internet, a server somewhere, and says, oh, hey, there's an update for this? Ooh, great. Better start fucking his, his stuff in the butt. <laughs> Make it stop working properly now. And I know that's that's being silly. This probably doesn't work that way, like I said, right? But, it, like, what else could it possibly be? Come on, this is ridiculous. It makes no sense when things like this happen. I call it ghost problems. Anyway, uh, let me know if this fixed your problem down below. And, yeah. Good luck.